Hey Twitch, we're live. It's me, Jack Wins. We're playing Ark Survival Evolved, and um, we're playing with Sorcerer Von Croy for sure. Uh, he's grabbing a drink uh, at the moment, and then hopefully Nate will be able to stop by tonight. Um, because I am eager to actually do something about these these bosses. So yeah, I'm just gonna go run around and pet the pet the little XP booster animals. Listosaurs. Listosaurs, yes. So did you hear my introduction? Yes. Okay. Most of it. Most of it. I was out of the room real quick to grab a pet. Yep. And one of our T-Rexes is, is, is halfway into the building. Uh, that is, would be typical. Uh, probably, let's see, who did I leave on that side? It's the fleshy. Oh, oh it's the fleshy? Flex. And I have good news and bad news when it comes to uh, the uh, uterinus that I had tripled. Yes. That was interesting. I, yeah, I think I stopped uh, in for the stream when that was happening. I stopped in yeah. for the stream. Yeah. All three of them unfortunately died, but oh, I no. uh, raised another one and uh, was like extremely picky and kept an eye on it every two hours. I changed out uh, the uh, preserving salts to keep the meat from going bad. Right before it could eat it and it worked and now I have my uh, uterinus safely ensconced on my uh, island solo session nice. section but uh, that was uh, not fun having my guy or gals because there were like all three gals of the exact same type all dying I mean, like oh that. yeah that's not I, fun I had everything organized and amount of food and everything mm -hmm. and, uh, and I logged in and like literally minutes if not seconds before I logged in they they croaked Oof. and that's like oh good god if I would have just been like a split second faster <laughs> right that, that's that's uh, disappointing yeah very but the positive thing is is I finally got one to uh, stay alive <laughs> nice uh, let's look at how her uh yeah we don't have room for more narcotics so i we we don't well we have room for it but we don't need it so let's not worry about rotten yeah and then there's like uh, rotten f stuff everywhere that i could fit some because mm -hmm. also doing the stuff for the uh uteranus uh caused a lot of spoiled meat to show up so. mm -hmm. So I like have spoiled meat in uh, multiple locations, especially the fridge up here. That you would also have some meat. Yep. This has a ton of uh, rotten stuff. So if you need rotten stuff for producing anything, you can easily find it up in here. Right. Um, I'm actually dumping the excess because. I don't blame me. I was like concerned about the amount myself at times. I was like, you know, should I keep storing this or should I uh, release some of it back into the in, into the wild? Well, if you look at the cam locker, we've got like at least m more, like two or three dozen rows of of, of narcotics. Uh -huh. So we're good on narcotics. You're level ninety nine. Holy cow! Yeah, I'm like super level. I'm three levels behind you. No, I'm not even sure exactly how or why I am even super level, but I am. <laughs> and Nate's level 101. He's ready for uh, ready for class. Ah, oh, yeah, yep, yep. Right, how they 101. always do that in, on the college in the colleges and universities, where it's not just like course 100, it's course 101. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, all right. Uh, so you said there was something. Nate's building something in the that we should look well, at. At least he was. Uh, last I knew, he was uh, constructing stuff in the uh, Red, Red Forest base. I wonder if yeah, he's oh Redwoods Castle. Yep. Yeah, he got, got has a teleporter. a teleporter there, so we can teleport there. If I get up here quickly oh. enough. And I, I made it. I think I got I got sucked in for sure. Oh. And I fell to the ground. So he's got it set up so that nothing can spawn in here, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the plan. To have as much of the area clear of uh, anything deadly that could spawn and mess with us. And oh, stuff. and it looks like he built a, a wall over the gap. We put a, we put a door where yeah. the door would be. He yeah. put a door where the doors should be. Oh my god, Not and, and, a, and a sp but, Spikosaurus uh, or whatever they're called, um, the uh, the ones you the, the one you uh, that we got, uh, the, uh, what are they called? Spinosaur just fell from the sky. I saw a Spinosaur fall from the sky. I can't believe that. Yeah, it's not perfectly centered, but he put doors on the uh, entryway. Oh, he put doors there, too. Yep. Where the drawbridge is to the village section. There's like a small drawbridge right here, like super small drawbridge. Yeah, this is a massive project. Yeah, he's been working on it. That's definitely for sure, because those doors are definitely new. And it looks like he has doors over here on the other side. Yeah, and a wall. And he put a wall in. And repaired the wall. He's definitely been busy. For sure. I would officially say that this structure is... Hey, we have a goat in here. There's a goat. Yeah, oh, goat-like yep. yep, creature. Mega sheep. Yeah. He's level 100, too. Holy crap. Yeah. Tame that and... Oh, hey. Some more... Oh, we've got one of those bird thingies. Yep. That's floating around in here. And it's a female. Morphodons. Morphodons. Yeah, we had one of those on the last server as a pet. Yeah, I have one on this server as a pet in my inventory, but it's also a female, so oh. I don't have need for that female there. Mushrooms. Shrooms. The happy fruits. I mean, vegetables. All right, fungi. The happy. F I don't know if they're fruit or. I don't think oh, they're yeah, fruit fungi. or vegetable. Yeah. yeah, I think they're more fungus. The, the fungus among us. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I always used to hate mushrooms, and my mother would be like, Oh, we're going to have some mushrooms in our spaghetti sauce, and we're going to have some on our pizza. And I was like, no. <laughs> now I enjoy mushrooms. Right. Just took I don't know how many years before I finally said, you know what? Mushrooms are not bad. <laughs> you can gather these mushrooms, too. Which is cool. I think yeah, that's get, also one of the why I wanted to yeah. take this spot over is because of some of the things that grow naturally in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the tavern. Yep. Oh, ancient the pine of your best ale. Like tavern. Oh, it's dark down here. 
Oh, yeah, the basement. That's probably pitch black down there even during the day. Especially if there isn't any torches or anything that are, like, pre-lit down here. No. Nope. Well, there does seem to be a torch right here that's lit. Oh, that one. And then uh, there's another no torch, one. but this one's not lit and you can't access it. Mm -hmm. There's one over here, too. So there's at least two torches lit, but other than that, we need to... I don't have a torch. I actually thought my... the light was coming from the chandelier. Oh, hey, chandelier. That would that would be cool if we could get that to light. Mm -hmm. Let's see, torch. Torch. There we go. Now we've got some light happening. And the amount of wine that this place could hold. A small oh, yeah. community would definitely be happy. <laughs> For sure. Now that is a very neatly bound rope. Holding that together like that. Oh, there's a forge over here. And an anvil. I think I found a blacksmith shop. Forge and an anvil. I think I saw that like over this direction. Behind you. Oh, behind me? Yep. Over here. Oh, we got Herodons flying around. Okay, over there. Okay. Yeah. We got good creatures floating around. You can definitely tell this place was definitely used a lot back in the day. Right. What's that building, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah, now I saw you going this way. Uh, I just went, there. I actually went, went where where you were. Oh, yeah, the area where the garden was. Looks like you picked all the plants here. Or someone picked all the plants that were there. Hmm. Nice little fishing spot in the with the pond. There aren't any real fish in it. It'd be a nice place to fish, though, if there were fish there. You can definitely tell the tavern was meant to have an upper floor. This is probably where they would have had their uh, rooms for the inn at up here. And or it would have just been a big room with beds for people that got too drunk that didn't want to travel during that time. They'd just probably come up here and sleep on a cot. Right. Common room or, or something. Of course. Because I'm sure they probably would charge them. What kind of structure is that? Is that part wonder... of the uh, gate system? Or is this a siege engine? does kind of nope. look like a trebuchet, but it's not. Yeah, it's, it's got a, like uh, a wheel here. Yeah, like so. a, it's kind of like a um, gerbil or hamster wheel. You, you run in it, I guess, and it makes the thing go. Yep, I'm thinking it's just a crane. 
used yep. for lifting stuff uh, from the looks of it. An old world style crane, they'd probably have people, like you said, run inside the uh, wheel here to get it to operate. But for us, we can't even get inside it. Oh, you can't? Nope, can't. Watch this. Hello. Uh, how the heck did you do that? I jump crouched. Jump crouched. Jumped and then crouched. Here, watch me do it. Back up. Alright. Well, at least someone can get in there. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're voted for uh, being the, the power for the wheel. Yeah, it looks like I, I just volunteered, huh? And I volunteered to be the one that aims it in the direction it's got to go for picking up whatever we're picking up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely a two-man job for sure in that design of things. But it's also fitting that's probably where they were... Yeah, they were uh, going to rebuild their wall by having that there. Probably the plan, yeah. Yep, they just never got to it because of whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. Pretty good thick wall, too. Thankfully, I have a, a cinema crops to prevent me from getting killed by doing stuff like that. I can't believe he managed this all by himself. Yeah, getting it all cleaned up and stuff barricaded. He definitely did a very good job of it. Place is looking awesome. Yep. And it's unique how that wall is the exact size of a uh, the large door, <laughs> the <laughs> large door, uh, whatever they call that. Yeah, the the dino door. Yeah, the huge dino door. That this particular section is the exact size of that, and then these smaller sections are the exact size necessary for the standard dino door size. Mm -hmm. But heck, we could have one heck of a base complex built up in a place like this. Yeah, it'd be huge. Be massive indeed, it would be correct. Uh, and there's that neat little pond you were talking about. From up above, it's got kind of a turquoise looking water. Largely probably because of the, the sandy bottom. Probably. The slight shallowness. I wonder if you befriended a fish if you put it in there, if it would stay alive at that. It's an interesting proposition. Then we would just have to tell people, don't go fishing for our fish because it's our <laughs> pet. Right. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Excuse me. I hope I didn't blow anybody's eardrums out. <sighs> oh. Luckily, no. Probably blew my own eardrums out, though. With the pressure differential. Well, that's actually easy to do with the pressure from that. You know, I worried about that after my surgery. I was like, am I going to be safe sneezing now? 
<laughs> that was like I'll bust a gut literally if I sneezed the wrong way. Was my thinking. That would be bad. Yeah, it would be bad. It's like thinking to myself, oh no, don't sneeze. So for like the first few days I was lucky I didn't sneeze, but I have sneezed since. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Luckily. Good. And this also has a down. Unless this is where I came from. Oh, I think this is a different down. This leads into the gate area here. Behemoth gate. Yeah, that those things. <laughs> oh, yellow, yellow drop. Oh, gold drop somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it over there across the water. Just be careful. There are some dangerous things that float around here. Oh, it just despawned. Oh, yeah, it did. Uh, but this area is known for having spinosaurs as well as tons of sarcos all over. Yeah, it's kind of a mix between the swamp and the redwoods. Yeah. And since it's got that lake kind of river kind of feel to it, because this definitely is kind of like a roundabout river, but at the same time, it's like a lake. Mm hmm. And Spinosaurs definitely like areas that are like this, where they can uh, yeah, navigate. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I, 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 oh, I falling. mentioned it earlier, but Spinosaurs fell from the sky in front of the big behemoth gate. They did? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I know there's a circle right there, and I think that's a spiny X to it, but that could be another circle. How's the T Rex brigade coming along? Uh, they should be progressing. I need to definitely check on them and see about levels and stuff that they may have uh, obtained during biostasis. Yes. It must be beyond a different behemoth gate because I'm not seeing any spinies right here. Oh, he went. One. He swam away, but. Oh, he swam away. Yeah. Okay. But he literally fell from the sky, which was funny. I thought. Yep, that's how they spawn in. Sometimes they actually spawn above the location and drop into place. And like an alien, invisible alien ship is kind of like hovering around and it's like, okay, we're done with the experiment with you, be gone. And they teleport it off the ship and it's like in the middle of the air. Yeah. I saw you flying was... around and I thought, holy crap, there's an airplane. <laughs> you saw me flying around and you're like, holy crap. There's... <laughs> yeah, you, look, you literally looked like an airplane for a second there. Oh, cool. That means I'm definitely learning how to fly the cinema crops is quite nice. If I look that professional like. Yep. Look like a small a small um 
uh, one two engine. seater Cessna. Yeah, Cessna or something like that. I must say, I love the Cinema Crops. Is they are awesome teams. They are in indeed. They make the game so much nicer. And for all those years that folks didn't have the cinema crops available, they're probably like, it's about fracking time. Right. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. Oh, man, I'm hot. Oh, all right. Yeah, the sun actually came out today and warmed up the house a little bit, and I forgot oh, to turn. I didn't, I didn't turn down my heater, so the the combination of the heat and from the from the heat pump and the sun and made the, the sun house has your has little, your place nice and warm right now. Yeah, a little toasty. Uh, yeah, my apartment's kind of similar in a way. I actually have my uh, space heater turned off at present and just yeah. sitting in standby mode but the little bit of sun that popped out this morning enough to warm my bedroom which is like right in the direction that the sun come, uh, comes up yeah um that that waterfall that was the side that the uh spino fell from the sky this is where i'm flying towards the waterfall he, yep, fell, that's, he fell that's on the other the side of this door. Yep, that's the side where they typically would spawn is over here mm. on this side. Oh, there appears to be a cave behind the waterfall. Yes, there is. Uh, Nate and I explored that actually one night. Uh, oh, yeah? It's pretty good size in there. You take your monkeys? When you went? Uh, we actually just flew in on his Manamagar, I think. Oh. Just a great big open space in there, if I recall correctly. Well, there's some lockers in here now. Yep, Nate must have been back in there and done some uh, resource hunting. Looks like uh, crystal. Crystal resources. In the lockers. Oh, yep, I see pure crystal. And look at all this crystal right here. There, there's a shit ton of it. Yeah. That is a lot of crystal. Kind of reminds me of Superman and his Fortress of Solitude up at the uh, North Pole. Right. Oh, hey. Uh, we have a visiting dino who's running around. It's a herbivore, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Gallimim Gallimimus. It's a herbivore. They're safe. Mm. Uh, those aren't, though. Those are murder chickens. Murder, murder chicken, chicken. Ahoy. Murder chicken? Murder chickens chased off the... Uh, what's its... Uh... Oh, terror birds. Yep, we got murder chickens going on out here. I, I ref usually refer to murder chicken as the big one. The big ones that yeah, murder the... the uh... Um, other things, um, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking Teresa's about. Teresa's or whatever, Reese's, yeah. the Reese source. Smaller murder chickens. What the? Oh, it's a monkey. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to engage the monkey if the monkey don't engage me. I'll leave the monkey alone.
Well, that's kind of cool when you're at great distance from there. The wall doesn't appear and stuff like that. And right, you can't you tell. Closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is my character doing that suddenly? Um, is my shift key? I think this keyboard's funky and slightly broken or something. It's a Corsair. It's made in England. Hmm. So it would explain why it doesn't want to work on an American computer properly. I just got a new keyboard myself. I need to get something that's not made in England. <laughs> I got I got an Asus um, mechanical keyboard. Strix, I think. Ah, yeah. A oh, rug Strix keyboard. With yeah. uh, brown switches. Ah, nice. So the tactile bump. But, uh, I'm being murder chicken. No, get in the air. Get in the air. Murder chicken is dead. Uh, now there is a Carnotaurus in the area. Yeah, I hear the Carnotaur. I was just trying to land so I could uh, flip around with my uh, what's its button. <laughs> flip around with my what's its button. I should just reset my keyboard mouse real quick. Because at least I learned how to do that. That's one thing that's actually good about the Corsair mouse and keyboard. If they do mess up, it's pretty easy to reset them. Hmm. And I got myself a, a Logitech G502 Lightspeed, which is a cordless mouse. Ah, nice. It feels I nice to and not be bound. Mouse. I have those on my other computer on my Alienware. Um, I've been I've been resistant to cordless mice for so long because of uh, latency same. issues, but this one is there's like zero latency. There's it's uh, indistinguishable uh, from the wired and reset. so I'm happy. So why does that not show? the light turning on for those. Because it should show a light that turns on on the keyboard, shouldn't it? When you do things like Caps numlock. Lock, num, num lock, num lock should have a light. Scroll lock should have a light. And so should caps lock. Yeah, but uh, for some reason one of them's like on, but I don't know which one it is. It's just like it just says one. Oh, there's a one there? That's the numlock. But why won't it turn off? That's a good question. You're in like an elk kind of creature. That's what you are. Okay. There we go. No, let's pause back. One's no lock. That one is that one. Oh, okay. The male megalodon, the mega sheep, the male mega sheep are the elk looking ones.
those things are reset. Parking my burp. Oh, I didn't even hear it. Okay, why is my inventory screen moving like that? Uh, having tech issues? Yeah, I reset my mouse and now I go into my inventory screen and I move my mouse around and whatnot and the inventory screen just bounces up and down. That's weird. I think I fixed it. I need to teleport back to base because I need to get food. All right, I'll come with you. Unless you're just going to do a personal teleporter. Cobalt's out of position there. Got a lot of Rex helmets. Yeah, I gained a few extra as well during uh, the past two weeks. Because uh, all the meat collecting I had to do for raising of all the different creatures. Right. So I ended up killing a lot of Rexes, a lot of uh, uh, Raptors. Like yesterday, it was like Raptor City. Every few feet, there was like a new group of three or four Raptors. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was like the Raptors were definitely in the unemployment line. And when the game was like, hey, guess what? We've got new spots. <laughs> there they were all over the place. Lol. I have to work Sunday, so... Um... Uh, I, won't, I won't be able to stay up late on tomorrow night. On Saturday, yeah, yeah. understandable. But finally so, back to work. It's been, it's, been, it's been a couple of weeks, I mean a month, since I've been able to work. Oh, yeah, so I'll be good getting back in. Oh, here's something new. What's that? Aquatic mushroom. That wasn't in here the other day. Neither yeah, I picked that up today. Oh, you found that. Yeah, aquatic and the acerbic. Acerbic, yeah, that looks highly narcotic. Auric, auric mushroom and the yeah. Interesting stuff, uh, indeed. Yeah, I picked those up at the uh, Redwoods Castle. Little time. This is gonna spoil like super fast for each one. Yeah, even in the refrigerator, they spoil pretty quick. Yeah, it's only got like minutes for each one. Mm. So that's like the kind of thing, if you know what it's used for, that's definitely the kind of thing that you gotta use quick. Right. That's redundant. That's redundant. That's redundant. Oh, I'm just out of randomly going through the uh, blueprint locker. Uh, yeah, it, it's a good thing to do because there's a lot in there that's probably, like you said, redundant that we don't need. You know, either have duplicates of or that all of us have the uh, blue, have the uh, uh, Ingram for. You know, that sort of thing, because we don't need blueprints for things that we've already got, unless 
blueprint is like better than anything that we could probably make. Oh, hey, and there's the scissors or a pair of scissors in there. Scissor weapon. They need repair. Yeah, it looks like they do. Yeah, they definitely do. Uh, 440. They're definitely in need of repair. That's true. I wonder how we're coming along with the Rex saddles. Uh, Rex saddles. Let's see. I know Nate was holding on to those. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got seven or so made that are in his locker here. I could put those on them, but I don't know if he's wanting to keep track of exactly what's where, if he had right. to like track down otherwise. So I'd rather wait until he's got all of them produced so that he knows what's what and where and stuff. Right. But speaking of T-Rexes, I think after taking care of feeding and stuff like that. Uh, let's oh yeah, check we need to feed the animals, don't we? I'll take care of the meat. Okay, uh, then I'll put this meat back and I'll take care of uh, the dung beetle and the uh, veggies. Berries. And or veggies. Berries, veggies, veggie berries. Oh, we got one of those foggy rainstorms happening, yep. so we need liquid. Just step outside real quick. Yep, free water. Oops. You put another trough in, didn't you? Where'd you put it? Uh, down at the new corner. Outside? Yeah. Okay. Actually, it fits there kind of nicely. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, the dung beetle is not going to have use for bullets, a scythe, or... <laughs> or I should say a sickle, but a sickle is also a scythe, and a scythe is also a sickle. It's just done slightly differently, where the scythe is straighter oh, okay. in its sickleness, and a sickle is more like it looks like a box opener. Hmm. One of those ring buckle box openers. Only difference it has a handle on it because it's bigger in design. That'd be like an industrial uh, box opener or head remover. Um, <laughs> head remover. I like that. that. That's yeah. Say hello to my little head remover. <laughs> His name is Elvin. <laughs> You'll make a very high-pitched sound once your head hits the floor. Yes. Hey. 
Let's see, three and 62 in melee. Uh, where to put this for Dodo Rex? I gotta take Which my fire wyvern for a flight. Ah, nice. That sounds fun, actually. I might do that myself after I check on the uh, Rexes. But first I should check on the Rexes, see if they've got level ups that they can do. Right. And then check on my uh, frozen animal buddies. See if they've got any level ups now. And actually for the f one of the first tames that I sent over to my other map, I got so many levels before sending the Yeti Buddy over there that the uh, game didn't give me any bonus levels for sending the uh, Uteranus over to my solo map. Oh, wow. And almost all of my other dinos have gained anywhere from 6 to 16 free levels for the transfer. Hmm. But it also crashed at the same time, so I'm wondering if it had anything to do with the possibility of the game crashing. Could be. That I did the transfer, because first I like moved the saddle and then I transferred or attempted to transfer the Uteranus and it crashed. And the same thing kind of happened beforehand with the uh, snow owl that I was sending over. Because I captured a new snow owl that you'll notice the name is uh, changed from Cedric to Raven. But I liked the new Snow Owl so much, and I keep my good stuff over here, and I send the good but yet slightly not as good stuff over to my solo map, since it's like an easier map, supposedly. So I send like my easier stuff over there and hope to get extra bonuses by doing the transfer to make them better, which is paid off. Right on. While at the same time keeping the really good ones here for the group. And uh, Raven is one heck of a kick ass snow owl. Is she? Or he? Yep. Like, spot on everything. Everything is like perfect. Nice. The exact way I like everything. HP, the stamina, carry weight, even melee. I like have the a snow owl that's capable of healing and killing at the same time. So nice. I consider that to be a definite That's a win. Plus, because you never know. You may be out and about and someone may be like, Oh my god. I'm going to die, and so is my creature. Come save me, and I can go there with a snow owl. And whatever is going to attempt to kill them again, I can have a snow owl kill them. Right. <laughs> okay, now that we've got the uh, dung taken care of, now to check on fertilizer needs. Well, I killed a brontosaurus with my fire wyvern. I ca I'll call that a win. Definitely a good win. As brontos take a while to kill, so that means your I killed fire wyvern. Capable of uh, handling them decently, which is the important thing of being able to handle the fact that it takes a while to eat through their their HP, because the HP on Brontosauruses is quite high. Usually, yeah. 
I mean, I set him on fire twice and chomped on him a little bit and he was dead. That's definitely good. You got a good kill then. A very good kill. Yeah, a lot of your teams uh, have level ups, I oh, do they? mentioned, so you might want to walk around and uh, see which one of your teams. I think especially uh, the Maywings, I think all of your Maywings down here have level ups. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got too many Maywings for sure, though. Yeah, because Luke has level ups, uh, Judas has level ups, Mark has level ups. Matthew Judas, has Judas is my favorite. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is like rolling over in his grave. You're like, All right. He stabbed me in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Judas. Uh, let's see. You've got three level ups. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. You've got 2,600 stamina, 3,000 health, 1,000 weight. I'll give you a little more health. What the hell? Sounds like a very well-rounded dino going yeah. on there. My way, my May wings are pretty badass for May wings, which is definitely good. They're fun for long-distance gliding. For sure. And if you fly one on the island, well, yeah, we'll possibly experience that when we switch from here to go take care of the boss over there. Right. <laughs> you'll I'm, you'll see. I'm just excited to. I'm all. excited to do the boss battle. I'm just. I was. Uh, yeah. It's, that's that's the main just thing. my hiatus, and then healing, and then all of the other emotional situations and stuff. It's yeah. Been and like, I, I got too busy IRL, so yeah. Plus, I've, I've been depressed. The IRL is good. I've been depressed yeah. about about uh, streaming lately, so. And I yeah. definitely understand and feel you on that. Hope that your depression lessens a little bit, but it is relatable and very understandable. It's, yeah. It's frustrating at times, you know doing so much and seeing so little return on right. everything that one does and you're like doing everything on a super expensive level because your computer rig for one is probably like four or five thousand dollars in value totally. oh, at least at least and mine's only like three thousand so like... i could sell i could probably sell it for six grand if i wanted to I would believe it with both your CPU and GPU being water cooled, mm -hmm. as well as the fact that you've got a 3080 Ti. Yep. That's no small chunk of change right there. Right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and RGB. Too, your, even, uh, even the most important thing is I've got RGB, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definite <laughs> RGB, especially modern day RGB is like, you know, if it doesn't have RGB, people are like, well, I don't want it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have any lights. What, what's going on? We can't tell if it's on. <laughs> right. Uh, the, the, the modern kids would will never know the worries and trials and tribulations of uh, 90s computers. I recently, I recently rearranged it so that my GPU is vertically mounted too now, so that's cool. Oh, nice. So 
Now you get to actually make sure that your all your fans on your GPU are working when they're supposed to be working. Oh well, there's no fans on the GPU because it's water cooled. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. Duh. But you get probably have a better view of your water cooler. Yep, uh, I can see the water. Control. I can see if there's any bubbles. I can see the bubbles go through, and I can see the lights on it, and it looks cool. So, whatever. Which is awesome. That's definitely awesome. I, I was what? meaning to rehose it because the hoses were getting kind of nasty. Ah, uh, no growth getting all dumpy from. Uh, no algae from, uh, or anything like that, but. Um, they just like the, the water coloring or whatever if you use like a special water color to like match a particular aesthetic or theme that you're going with that probably could gunk up yeah that could gunk it up that's why i just use distilled water and pt nuke yeah. and um no but the the hosing was low quality and translucent and it started uh, to go it started to turn brown so i uh, see oh. i re i replaced it with all white hosing so that it the white on the hose picks up the light from the rgb so whatever color the uh, rgb is set to the the uh the hose is pop with it oh nice you, you'll have to definitely take some pictures of your setup and yeah. post them in your discord and whatnot now it's not perfect like one of the hoses goes in front of the gpu but that's because the riser cable would be in the way and it would take more work to routed around it i'm using soft hoses i don't do hard hard tubes because yeah if you do hard you have to absolutely be perfect on your measurements and everything and getting everything perfectly aligned yeah and it makes maintenance such a pain in the butt yeah using soft is probably a lot wiser and more efficient and effective especially if you should suddenly have a problem with something mm -hmm. easier to replace too because if you have to go in and you have to redo a whole new hard tube yeah <laughs> the, the time and and the danger to your equipment because you you definitely have to drain it properly and if you yeah. don't drain it properly and you get stuff wet in there you got two things that can happen one you let it dry everything will be perfectly fine two and yep. you just break your computer mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah i'd go with the easier safer wiser system that allows you better uh control over what you're working on yeah i like the soft tubing i'm actually using one of my 140 mil fans as a little uh prop under the uh under the gpu to hold it up because i lost the bracket that's supposed to hold it but i still oh. i still have the uh i can i still got this the slots on the side of the case are still there so i got it screwed in and slotted in but i'm just using the uh I've got the fan sitting underneath it. Just it's just the perfect height to just sit under there and prevent any flexing. Nice, excellent. In my opinion, I think that works. If you ask me. Yeah, and it blows it blows air towards the the uh, chipset, so it keeps the chipset cooler too. So. Oh, that's also a plus. That's definitely a plus. If it's an active fan that helps keep things cool, and yeah. Yeah. So it's I'm I'm more doing. about. I, I've always been more function over form, but I've been getting yeah. into I've been getting into form lately. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, function over form, but if you can get the form to function, that's when you've definitely got a, a, a hell yes hit. Yep. And some of the companies out there, like Zetrix, are pretty good at getting some of that uh, form versus function to actually have a really good aesthetic as well as uh, quality stuff put together and they build custom yeah. PCs essentially because the truth is that cable light. management won't affect your frame rate just like oh, RGB yeah. yeah cable management is important especially for in the compartment of the case not only for aesthetics but also for keeping the airflow yeah I mean if you've got a mess of stuff yeah Especially with but the old probably, IDE cables, the old old school cables, old yeah. school hard drive cables where they were thick ribbons. Yep, very thick ribbons. They would obstruct air big time. Nowadays, like SATA cables and all that are so thin, they, they don't really yeah, obstruct air. Yeah, tiny. Much. You yeah. almost can't even tell that they're there. Just like poke, a, poke it through the backside from where, where you can hide all of your bad cabling. Right. <laughs> 
I hit as much as I felt I needed to, but it's mostly yeah. just me that looks at it, so I'm not too worried, and I'm not worried about the. About yeah, it. similar when I did my RGB fans and whatnot. My, uh, it, it's routed all equally in the like the proper areas or whatnot. Like all the cabling for the given group of fans comes through at the same spot. They right. go down the same area, but I don't have them all tied together. Yeah, cable so, tied and stuff. Yeah. I don't have them tied down, but they are at least within the same area, and they still look decently okay on the backside. But they're not absolutely perfect. They could be better, especially if I like went to LTTstore.com and bought some other nice colorful ties. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they used to give them away with orders. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll be like, hey, you know, I need a pack of 15. And they'll be like, hey, here's a free pack for just being the first time shopper or something. Maybe. Yeah. I should get some of those nice shirts and hoodies that they're always advertising, too. Yeah. But I've also considered hitting up the, the Twitch uh, loot cave for a lot of stuff. I like a lot of the stuff that they've got in the Twitch. Yeah, they've loot got cave. a sale going on now, too. So 20% off the, the loot at the, on Twitch, I think. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. 20% off. Okay, let's railing skating. Yep, that's always fun doing the railing skate. Okay, now to get some of these berries where they belong. How you doing, Leo? Do you have a level up? Yes, no, it's kind of like my computer is a custom system. But made by a, a company, but mm. then since they didn't do so good with the fans in the water cooling, I kind of had to like do my own on that aspect. So it's kind of like a 50 50 between them and me, <laughs> right? Because I had to go to Amazon and look for some decent fans and stuff, and then I wanted to keep the green aesthetic going, so I chose to like stick with the green, especially since there's a solid strip. People would hate my fans because I got the Noctua's. Oh, that's... They're really good fans, but they're brown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're good fans, but I don't think they have any RGB on the Noctua's. No, no, no RGB on the Noctua's for sure. But they are the best on the market that I know of. Yep. Elias swears by them. Um, Jay's Two Cents is a big proponent of them, too. Yeah, though he's gotten into the Lee and Lee fans recently, I think. Because I've noticed almost any time that they have to use uh, certain build types, mm -hmm. that he'll like automatically go straight to the Noctua fans. Yeah, they're, they are. They're really good fans. They're quiet and they're high high pressure or airflow, depending on what you purchase. And, yeah. Yeah, because I've noticed almost every time he does like one of those designs that requires a special type uh, cooler for like the CPU or whatnot, mm -hmm. he'll go for one of their not to a coolers. I, I sometimes wonder if he doesn't do product placement. Uh, maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, I definitely know he's got his favorites for sure. Mm. And have you been keeping up with uh, his house? That he's oh yeah, building? he's that's insane. He's yeah. got some mean stuff going on for his house. <laughs> he's making he's making big bucks too. He, he has to be for everything yeah. he's putting in there. He just put in uh, solar panels. Yep. So he's even going to be making some money from uh, the power grid. Or, or yeah, depending depending on how it goes, he's going to exactly. be how saving much, or making. Uh, it produces it how much his family will use. Yeah. As well, you know. Because he does have a good-sized family, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're going to be using a lot of power, especially with the gaming and the, the uh, server room that he's got there. Oh, mm. that's nice, too. He's got a yeah. very nice server setup going on. Very, very lucky guy. Very, indeed. Had a lucky name, and he was uh, lucky to get involved in this stuff. So Yeah, definitely. Especially at just the right time when everyone... Mm. 
but it's like starting to also get into it need someone to teach us he's definitely a good teacher well i think i'm a little older than him and i was doing it before he was but yeah but he also took it to the extent of doing full videos on. Um, yeah, all I, the don't, I don't videos. have the I don't have the time or the patience to do tech tips. And stuff. it went from being like a, a one room solo thing to now he's got like uh, I don't know exactly how many employees, but probably like fifty employees at most probably. Well, he and started then, uh, he started doing it for NZX I, NZ the Canadian. Senior. Yeah. In yeah, NZX, they're a good company too. They've got some good. I thought they went out of business. Uh, NZXT is still out there. Oh, okay. I, I'm actually on their Discord. Oh. I, I have their, I'm in their Discord server. Cool. Yeah, I learned I learned a lot what I well, about uh, about PC building from, uh, believe it or not, PC Gamer Magazine back in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Similar back when. They didn't have internet stuff, and YouTube was still kind of starting stuff yeah, like YouTube that. YouTube wasn't even a thing yet. Of... Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's same for me. I was learning all my stuff from PC Gamer or whatnot. And in fact, uh, I just learned from Linus Tech that uh, something that I never knew and didn't think was actually a thing, but uh, modern graphics cards, you can update the BIOS on them. And if you do it correctly, you can access new features that you might not have had before. Right. Because, for example, uh, the new thing that they started having available not too long ago of uh, the resizable, resizable uh, bar, the resizable bar type thing, mm -hmm. I now have enabled because I was watching a video from Linus Tech. Mm -hmm. and he was talking about these graphics cards that they all got that are supposedly all dead and broken, and they were working to, you know, get them functional again if they right. could. And he said one of the first things that you need to do during a situation like this, check and see if a BIOS update won't make this thing jump back to life. And I was like, wait a minute, what? BIOS update? Right. Yeah. I need to find out if I could do something like that and get some new features out of my graphics card, and it's exactly what I did. And now I have resizable bar capability. Nice. And I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> so your CPU supports it as well? Yes. My That's CPU good. and motherboard supports it because otherwise it would not be an active. Yeah, it wouldn't function. work without that. It yeah. Would not allow it if it was not already available. All I had to do was just update my uh, graphics BIOS and then uh, go into the BIOS and. Turn on resizable bar. Mm -hmm. It's the one thing that's nice about MSI uh, motherboards. A lot of times, if you update BIOS somewhere, you just go check your BIOS, and well, there you go. The thing that you were after, enable it or disable it, depending on what you're after. Right. I thought that. So you got a 30 series card, right? Uh, yes, it's a 3070. 3070, yeah. They, I thought they supported resizable bar without a BIOS update. To the guard, I mean. It probably would have, but uh, as far as I know, I didn't know about it. But oh, I, went, it. I uh, checked anyway for a BIOS update from Pony, because my graphics card is a Pony. And uh, lo and behold... It was there with the exact picture of my exact graphics card. And I, was, mm -hmm. I was like, well, if that's not confirmation that this is the correct BIOS for my card. <laughs> I was like, that's perfect. That's so I good. downloaded so you got, that. You put that, official BIOS on there. Yeah, because you could. You got, I, I'm really hesitant to upgrade the BIOS on graphics cards because I've bricked stuff before. Yeah, you got to absolutely make sure that it's proper for your given card. Yeah, because some cards can read as like something else sometimes. Mm -hmm. So research it. Make sure before you click on that little thing to download that it's going to be exactly what you want. Because once you click and if it does update, then it and that's one of the things that the Linus Tech guy said. It is possible if you're not careful that you could break your card. So yep. make sure of what you're doing. So I like researched it for like an entire 
but four or five hours actually. I researched it and checked online and looked here, looked there, looked high and low before I even did anything. And once I found out that my graphics card was a pony, I'm like, I'm a fan of pony. Yeah, I bri I've even bricked a router because I, I put WRT on it, uh, the open source uh, firmware, and I wanted to go back and I didn't follow the right procedure and I bricked it. Oof. Yeah. Oof is right. Yep. And that is something that could easily happen with something like that, which is why sometimes... I thought I was on... doing everything right, but I made a mistake in the process, and it just cost it cost me a router. Yeah. And sometimes, depending on the router brand, like I use Netgear, a lot of times, once you do one yourself, after that, it a lot of times kind of like connects into their automatic update system that will let you know when it needs an update or something right. like that and do it directly through them, mm -hmm. which is kind of like how it happened when I was using Netgear. Yeah, the which router, was the router, the router that I got, for it. the router I got from my fiber optic company self updates. Which is yeah, nice. similar. So I'm lucky about that is if my router needs to update, it will update through them or by them and I just you know, hope it's not during a time when I'm streaming because I think one day it was during a time when I was streaming that they decided to do an update. Oof. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do tend to do it in the middle of the night, which is yeah. Your because most people are usually asleep unless you're a gamer, and then you're usually awake. You know that old adage of three a.m. and the only uh, light that's on in a great big building is the guy that's gaming right. or gal. I should say as well, because guy and gal are capable of staying up and gaming forever if they desire. Mm -hmm. uh, my drink is empty, so I'm going to go step away and be right back. All right. Oh, i up. I was going to say that I'm drinking this this Michelob Ultra like it's water, but I don't even drink water this fast. <laughs> Must be some pretty good stuff then. If, it goes uh, down easy for sure. That's the important part. It's kind of like Budweiser. Budweiser is also one of those smooth drinks that doesn't go down harsh you gotta hate those ones that do go down harsh those are the ones where you, i think you have even mentioned depending on the type the one that you would have every now and then it was like so dry that you'd also have to have a glass of water right yeah the black view porter is very dry beer yeah. i take it with water no i don't dilute my drink but i uh you drink your drink but then you take a glass of water because your throat after drinking the drink is so dry that it's like oof <laughs> that you need extra fluid yeah fluid to you know keep yourself hydrated and not feeling so dry because that's the idea behind the beverage to begin with is to well it not depends feel... on the beverage really yeah depends on the beverage like dry whiskey is the whole idea about dry whiskey is that you can drink more because it doesn't hydrate you. Yeah. Which is kind of fucked up, but yeah. But folks like that stuff. So. Yep. <laughs> or dry gin or whatever. Yeah, yeah gin and tonic. The, those gin and tonic folks. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Hawkeye from MASH, if you remember him. He was always mm -hmm. the gin and tonic type. Always making a martini. Yep, always the martinis, the gin, and tonic, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You get off shift, go straight to his tent, and be imbibed in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oops, I tried to open the door for you, and oh, well, backfired. Thank you. I wasn't sure. <laughs> We both closed it at the same yep. time, so it closed and opened. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, 
I definitely miss watching Mesh, you know, like every day or every other day. Or Right. It's a good show. Always a good yeah. show. And I can honestly say I'm one of those fans that when the show came to a, a close and they were all leaving, I was actually one of those fans that actually had a tear come to the eye as they flew off into the distance. Oh, yeah. It's like I recently, I have a few episodes of uh, Cheers on uh, VHS, and I tried watching that. I, I couldn't watch it. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> it, it's a sitcom, and you're supposed to be laughing, enjoying, but mm -hmm. I was, like, reminiscing so hardcore that I was crying. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose that, that that's the sort of thing that can happen. I I was really really empathetic empathetic when I was a kid. Not so much anymore. I've kind of, in a sad way, I've kind of hardened. Uh, understandable. Life and reality is one of those things that yeah. uh, causes that to happen, and that's by no fault of uh, anyone or anything. It's just the circumstances or situations that you end up in. That, right. Uh, just increase that because I think we all a little bit have a certain amount of hardness by a certain age and it's not that we're being mean eggs. or trying to be mean it's just you know it, it just happens after a certain amount of time now the dodo that our pet dodo is laying eggs yes the pet dodo is laying eggs and the pet dodo kept sneaking outside and almost getting itself killed so Tisk, tisk, I finally tisk. decided to bring the dodo in here, and the dodo hasn't moved since I brought the dodo in here. So I think there's like because this is where we sleep. Mm -hmm. The 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 roaming feature, even though he is set to roam, yeah. he just doesn't roam. So, <laughs> but it's safer that way. I don't have to worry about constantly grabbing and bringing it back in from potentially getting killed outside. That's right. But that oh, evil nice. little thing, I don't worry so much about that evil thing that, that the uh, what's it's that would always oh, steal the little stuff. Thief, from. Yeah, yeah, the little thief. I'm not so worried about his demise. <laughs> Although I did feel a little bit for its demise because I was like, nah, that oh, should have happened. Die. It died. Yeah, it got killed by uh, of all things an itchy. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I remember that. That's funny. So it's sad, but it's funny. Yeah. It, that's the uh, uh, itchy killed it. Yeah. One of those freaking aggro birds that we all hate. Mm. <laughs> that I swear that either a bad lip reading of this game started their stuff at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> the the thing where Yoda is singing to Luke and it's mm -hmm. like you'll be walking on the beach and you know, seagulls will come and pokey in the knees and stuff like that. That's in the head. Yep. <laughs> and that's exactly what the itchy sores do at best. They you know focus on the head and the knee, they steal our freaking food. <laughs> Annoying little creatures. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I was hoping you guys had made more progress on the on the on the T Rex brigade and that we were gonna be able to do the boss tonight. <laughs> Well, without meat here. Yeah, I really don't know what needs to be done to get the saddles. I think he's got that. He's got that. Yeah, that's he's that's got next that domain. saddle thing going, but I don't know how long it's been since he's logged in to do any work on that. Yeah. And I've just largely been paying attention to my uh, Rex Brigade, which I'm now grabbing out to check on their levels, see how they're doing, see where we can get any any stat points added to a few of them. Okay. Dash one. Okay, we'll launch all four of these one by one here. 
magic one. Okay, and let's see, we've got G1105, how many levels? Only one. Ooh. I would hope that there would be more levels than that by now. Okay, we've got... That will do HP. Try to get that up over 20. Mm -hmm. Right now it's 17, and it's going to give only 17.9. Oh, you got two levels here on this one. HP, 2100. Melee damage, 434. I think go for the HP. Because I think they were saying that we needed like somewhere around 30k HP and six to seven hundred melee. Hmm. Give or take, plus or minus. One thing that could potentially help is running these guys over. I wonder if that actually would. Um, it'd be evil, if you really think about it. But it would be a necessary... A, Necess uh, unnecessary evil. We take all these guys over to Herbivore Island, set them oh. free <laughs> on uh, their mess raid, essentially, of Herbivore Island, and just, just have them go hog wild and gain levels by eating everything on the island. Right. Who's a good T-Rex? B number 10 is a good T-Rex. Who's a good T-Rex? B 11 is a good T-Rex. Who's a good T-Rex? G1 is. And then all the way down here is a B1. Who's a good T-Rex? B1 is. Who doesn't want to eat me? <laughs> oh, all of them don't. Luckily. <laughs> Luckily. Because otherwise, you had if you had four T Rexes like these guys chasing after you, oh my I think God. We, would, we would definitely be lunch. But the good thing is, is T Rexes move slower than we do. So yeah. <laughs> I think we'd be able to outrun them, but it would be a tough outrunning for sure. Now I can grab the snow owl and heal, or I can just let them heal out in the open. But grabbing the snow owl might make things a little faster. I was definitely hoping for more levels, but uh, unfortunately, yeah. we also all really haven't been super active in uh, doing things. There's probably not many XP points floating around in the right. shared pool. I can't. I can't do my Heisenberg routine because we got too much. We need yep. some. We need some drug addicts to sell our narcotics to. <laughs> Uh, if only if. If, yes. If Ark had some nice folks that could stop by and be like, hey, we need some of that, you know, good stuff. <laughs> right. We need it to make our dinos high so that we can tame them more easily. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do with myself. Ah. Uh. That's another reason I've been wanting to do this less is because I don't I don't feel like I have a purpose in the game anymore. Well, you do because you're our leader for one. Well, uh, thank you for that. But yeah. Ice cube T-Rexes. 
Yep. Uh, ice Cube T-Rex in order to get their HP all the way up before I put them back in the yeah, stasis yeah. chambers. Yep. I probably should look up on how to uh, make these guys level faster because it'd definitely be very helpful because I know once Nate gets all of the saddles made, we're all going to be egging to jump in the battle arena with the boss. Right. I don't want these guys to be at least somewhere near capable. I think we're going to kick butt too when we do the boss battle. I think we will too, and many thanks to uh, followers like Erebus UK and so on that have uh, given us a ton of advice on uh, which direction to go with what we're working on. Mm -hmm. As if not for their advice, we would still probably be like, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> right. Who's a good T-Rex? B number two is... Yes, with your orange eyes. Orange eyes. Zombie-like. So oh, so yeah, those are very orange. So is G2's. Yeah, very orange eyes. Is G2 going to get a level up? Yep, good. Get that to the HP. So if anything, I at least want their HP to be up over 20k so that there's at least, we're at least two-thirds of the way there. So if we do have to go into the battle with uh, them being slightly lower, I at least want their HP to be enough that they can take some damage. 20k is quite a lot. Yeah, 20k is a lot of health. If if we had that kind of HP, we would be mega OP. That nothing right. would kill us, practically. But getting us human types that much HP would be almost impossible, if you ask me. Just because... Well, in-game mechanics don't work that way. So yeah, yeah they, they don't work enough to raise it that high mm -hmm. especially not fast enough <laughs> okay and then g2 and b2 Okay, next grouping, back up a little bit here so we have enough room between us and him. Let's see, dash three, two on the three tier. Dash three. Yeah, uh, what, which one is this? G3, G3 already has 22,000 HP. Which is definitely good. I'll probably add another notch to the HP anyway. So some of them are definitely going to be extremely close. And some will be a bit further away. Hello, Mr. Brontosaurus. You wandered into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> Welcome to Sesame Street, friends. Hello, Mr. Bronto. You just wandered in. Wrong neighborhood. I thought this was Sesame Street and things were safe. Oh, well, Big Bird's not here to protect you now. Right. <laughs> Where's Big Bird when we did him? 
Hello, he's over there at uh, Mr. Cooper's shop having a radio fixed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. I just, I ran out of gas on my chainsaw, but I got a ton of freaking meat off of that. Oh, guy. nice. Chainsaw not only gives a lot of hide, it also gives a lot of meat. Which is definitely good. All the extra hide that I've been collecting, as well as the hide that you're collecting, will definitely help Nate. Yeah. On uh, getting more of the uh, saddles produced. Four. Only one on four. G4 one of. Yep, and that's because I remember uh, the best dino male at that time was Lex over here, over there. Yep, right over there. Uh, Lex would be B4. But I needed a replacement for Lex because Lex went over next to the uh, water team area and well, literally drowned. Yep. So needed a replacement to replace. Lex forgot he couldn't what? swim. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame because Lex, original Lex, was a good Rex. But yeah. yeah. But I produced another one who's up in the upper tier, and it ended up being 7-Eleven. Go figure the unique oddity <laughs> there. Because the male or female in that grouping ended up as a 7-Eleven, and I'm like, wow, what are the odds uh, of that number set showing up like that? Right. Well, so far the body is not complaining about uh, me having a little beverage today. That's good. I hope I hope you stay nice and healthy and no negative Similar. side effects. I don't know exactly what the gallbladder does. And uh, to essentially is an aid to the digestive process and. Mm. Essentially, things that are, like, greasier from what the doctors told me. Uh, greasier, spicier foods. So you uh, might have problems with uh, diner food in the future. Yeah, especially greasy spoon-style diner, where it's, like, yeah. overly, overly greasy. Like, yeah. um, even though I love the food that they have there over at uh, Steak and Shake, just down the road from here. Really, really good stuff, but I mean, the stuff is greasier than greasy can be greasy, <laughs> but really freaking tasty. Yeah, but that would probably be the type of stuff that I probably would not be able to enjoy as much. And if I do, I'd have to enjoy it in smaller amounts, right? So, if you don't mind sharing, what exactly happened to your gallbladder that had to get pulled? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, because oh. I never noticed any major problems. There was never any real pain or anything like that until the particular day, and it just seemed to be more than usual for pain. So after a certain amount of time, which was like literally only like four hours, because it started when I woke up from a nap, mm -hmm. and I noticed the pain, and I was like, well... Let's see what happens if I take, you know, some Tylenol or something like that. It right. didn't help at all whatsoever. And I was like, by midnight, I was like, okay, there's definitely a problem here. And I started worrying more. And then by 3 a.m., I was like, I'm calling for help. Yeah. And I got myself down to the hospital and they started doing tests and everything. I wasn't specifically sure exactly what it was myself because I never experienced something like that before. And at yeah. first I thought it was, you know, like lower chest, but it turned out to be belly. Really? From what they say, it was so bad that it was like literally crumbling apart as they were trying to take it out. Oh my God. 
So I don't know exactly how I managed to not end up in dire straits, but in my opinion, if I would not have called for help and it would have done whatever it could have done, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, it's a good thing you called for help. Sorely missed if you didn't. Thank you for saying so. I appreciate that. It definitely means that you are a true friend indeed. Okay, so now we're on to number five. Number five is alive. Oh god, that movie, yes. <laughs> Short circuit. Yep. Your mother with a snowblower. <laughs> <laughs> That's an oldie. Oh my yep. god. That so dates us old. too. Yep. That it definitely tells people how old we are for sure. Yeah. It's like you're from when? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I was alive when that movie came out. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I was At old enough to remember to Doctor it. Who, though, since Doctor Who is almost like a timeless series, because, yeah. heck, I think that started in the 50s. Yeah, it's been around it's a long time. And there's like uh, 15 different Doctors now, I think. The fourth Doctor was my first Doctor from... Uh, Watch that I watched on PBS. Same, same, very similar. I think I remember he uh, got his foot caught in a, a railroad track outside the Citadel during one of the episodes and stuff like that that I remembered. My you, mom asked I, me. I, my mom once asked me why I liked the show, and I couldn't tell her at the time. She was like, "The graphics are so bad. Why do you like that show? The special effects are so terrible." It's like I didn't know at the time, but. What I realize now is that as a kid, what matters is the story, not the exactly not exactly the special effects. Yep, because it start for Doctor Who is definitely a B-rated type thing. It didn't mm -hmm. have the best quality or anything like that, but it was the story, and it the acting and, yep. and the heart of everyone involved that just made it feel like a show worth watching. Right. And they can just be in a common area, you know, just outdoors, like the scene, for example, that I just mentioned where he got his foot stuck in the, the switch over near the Citadel and right. the alien was going to run him over with an old steam locomotive oh, and shit no. like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, what's the doc going to do now? Right. Is he going to get free? You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. But it was still so good because, you know, the... Um, it was good storytelling, is what it was. Yeah, very good storytelling, and the thrills and chills and spills. Of, mm -hmm. You know, you flip the wrong switch in the TARDIS, you end up three hundred years too soon or something. It's yeah. like, oh no, you don't want that happening. Got to be a proper I, time. I bawled board. like a, I bawled so bad when the fourth Doctor regenerated. Mm, yeah, I didn't. I would do. I was just a little one, so you know, like, oh my God, he oh, died. No. And then he came alive, and it was someone else. And I was like, "What the?" F yep. The, <laughs> the usual sudden of uh, how is this gonna work? And it's like he's still the same doctor, but he's like reincarnated as a different yep. individual, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting way of uh, having so many different uh, uh, actors in in the uh, series. Yeah, very true. And each one kind of having their own sort of style. And at personality, times, you know, the, yeah. the old, old, you know, bow tie or uh, fez or uh, top hat, you know, that or sort of Or jelly bellies. Oh, yep. Yeah. All those unique things that made each doctor unique. Yep. Yeah. Yet the, the scarf or the bow tie, the, uh, the hat type that they would wear. Uh, right. You know, it just made for very entertaining of, you know, what's this doctor's quirks going to be in comparison to the previous doctor? Mm -hmm. Are we going to be able to identify with this doctor more so than the previous doctor? The 
This one doesn't seem to have any level up. Oh, there it goes, one. Yeah, it takes a second when they come out of cryo for the system to register that they're in active need. Almost 23 on that one's HP. This one should hit 22. Let's go 22. Come on. No? Okay. Let's go well. 22. Let's go. Your nose is in the way I need to get up in here, here so I can get both of you healed here. Yeah, some are like, why don't you turn off the dino looking? They won't be so annoying at that point. But it makes me feel important when they look at me. <laughs> I don't mind it. I, I I don't I don't really care either way. Personally. So it's kind of like a feature that I kind of like because it makes me feel like I'm actually important to them. It makes with the T Rexes. It makes me think they're hungry. But yeah, that too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> One of the great big meat eaters looking at you, it's like, oh, aren't you a spiffy little treat? Right. Then it's like, oh, wait, you're the one who feeds me the treats. If I eat you, I don't get the kibble. <laughs> right. Okay, so that was dash six, I think. So yeah, there was a six in one of them. Dash seven on these two. So that's the generation, really, isn't it? The, the number. Pretty much. So these would be the seventh ones that were Passed. raised. Yeah. The uh, thing, the B here, though, I think this was the new replacement for the Rex because most of the other ones that are up above this tier are all female. Oh, really? We're very close to it. I know there's also that 11 that was in there that I mentioned because somehow at the exact timing of everything, I ended up with the 7 split. <laughs> <laughs> now, if one was bowling, they'd be like, what? I, it's supposed to be a 7-10 split. Well, where's the 11th pin from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you have to hate when you have one of those 7-10 splits and you got like two on the one side and one on the other and it's like how are you going to deflect that one to get those two or those two to deflect and hit that one properly so that you get a full uh spare on it you know right oh is this one ready to level up again practically almost there's just like a small margin but how much oh yeah that's going to take a while 340,000 total, and is it 333,000? Uh, yeah, that's going to take a while for that little tiny bit. Might take a minute, yeah. Yep, definitely take a hot second for that to happen. And I noticed once I got my uh, snow owl's uh, stamina up over 3k, it's like the uh, healing can last for like ever right <laughs> i can like hold the heal button and it'll like heal and heal and heal and heal and practically fully heal things that are like injured even more super fast in comparison to one that's only in the 2000 range. well we've got plenty of meat so i don't really have a task um i i guess we could get more i could go get more hide for nate that would definitely be helpful. I think he would definitely appreciate that for when he yeah. logs in and notices that there's like so much hide that he's like, oh, hey, I can make a few saddles now <laughs> because I got the hide. Right. Because it uses a lot of hide. Oh, he also needs metal ingots, though. Oh, um, metal ingots in the uh, 
bin right next to the uh, oh. forge there, there's a ton inside that box last I saw. Uh, let's take a quick gander, see if there's still... Because last time I looked in here, the thing was, like, full. Yeah, there's still a lot in here. One, two, okay. three, four, five by six at 300 ingots. So there, there's a lot of ingots in here. Almost full all the way. Plus, there's a little bit... To, okay, someone was actually in here and turned that on. Uh, there's 56 of those. I'll just take these and put these inside here somewhere. So. We'll just pick a spot. Yeah, I think this one's as good as it. And there's a ton of metal in the uh, smithy. Or not smithy, the fabricator. The auto metal. There, there's two full rows. 300 stacked. We got metal all over the place, but adding extra metal is always good for sure. Mm -hmm. Do I have a dino inside? Yeah, that would be G7, which I healed those, so now let's check on dash 8. See how many creatures I have in the dash 8 category, which I think will probably only be one. So I think once I hit the 8, 9, 10, 11, which 10 and 11 are already taken care of, so I only need to look at 8 and 9 now. Yeah. Because they got taken care of in that big grouping of... Uh, the dash one. So dash. And. Dash. There we go. Okay, that's nine. Dash eight. No, that's still dash nine. Why am I. Ah, there's two and eight. Okay, so it was after eight that it hit the. Uh, Singular on the nine and the ten. So I stand corrected. Okay. Dash eight. Because dash eight has a G and a B. Unless they're both G's. Nope, oh, there's a G and a B. We got the GBs. GB. GBs. And ding, and there we go, 20k, and 21. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? <laughs> Oh, both of them are also level 189. Oh, wow. I've got the perfectness of that. B8 and G8 are both male, female, and they're both the same level. Now, talk about being ultimate brother sister. It's like they argue over which one came out first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh... the. I'm the one that mother or father is going to tell us what to do. And then they walk up and they like make the younger one be the, the commander. And it's like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> dash nine. There was only one in the dash nine. Uh, 
Level 174. See, it being 174, you might have multiple level ups, possibly. If it's going to have any at all. Twenty one K there out there. Oh, two level ups. Good. You are cold. Seek warmth. <laughs> Seek heat. Yep. And one thing that's unique that I experienced for the first time in my life was uh, a hospital that actually had comfortable, warm temperatures. In that's a little patient. shocking. It wasn't like this cold, freezing ice box like you'd expect. Right. It, it was so nice and comfortable. I was able to sleep for the first few nights without a blanket or. Thing. Just, you know, me, my gown, and a pair of jeans. And at least until they told me they had to, you know, do the surgery and the jeans had to get put in the drawer for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then, uniquely, after the surgery, that's when I started having to have a blanket. <laughs> Go figure that. It's like, gallbladder was keeping me warm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... Interesting take on interesting it. Interesting plot. Plot twist, yeah. Yeah, interesting plot twist. Okay, that takes care of looking at all of the uh, group-oriented dinos. Let's see how much did the owl... Yep, I'm going to have to put meat back in some of the uh, public animal domain items because the owl when it's doing the stamina it uses up a good amount of the food yeah food in order to do the healing process see if the trough still has any meat yeah yep, he ate all the meat totally, out of the trough <laughs> yeah that one's totally empty so if you uh, want to run around and uh yeah i'll, I'll get the meats Re reallocate some meats there for that okay now where do we have any spoiled stuff so I can put this with the other spoiled stuff it's only like one spoiled item but that works then put these back in the boss battle bin And one thing I learned is even if you're in a folder, don't do the remove all. Oh, God, because no, yeah. uh, it'll like take every uh, dino out of the uh, freezer. <laughs> Not just your own, it'll take everyone else's too. So I kind of like had to spend a few minutes one day learning the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> of uh, putting everyone dinos back where they belong. I was like, oh crap, now I gotta put everyone's stuff in. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm in my own folder, I should be able okay to, to click the all button. No. no. Like it just says, okay, you want all of them? Here you go. That's <laughs> right. Okay, there's a bunch of meat in the uh, trough now, so. Excellent. It's not full or anything, but... As long as there's a decent amount, that's all that matters, in my opinion. Okay, Thorn. Level up. Let's see, where do I want to put this? Uh, melee, from the looks of it. Oh, your poison wyvern. Yeah, they don't give a lot on the melee. No, it's so better it to invest in stamina. Better to invest in stamina? Yeah. Well, I'll have to start doing that <laughs> then. Because stamina affects their uh, power and their ability to keep fighting. 
through. They're like poison and stuff. Their poison spray is stamina. Okay, so probably just tra take the uh, melee up to uh, 275, and then after that, I'll just put everything into uh, stamina after that. Mm. There should hopefully be a lot of levels left, even though it'll probably take a while to get to all those differing levels. Okay, and this here, Vork. Our little cinema crops. Boop. Oh, he's a cutie. Yes, he is. My original cinema crops. Let's see. Stamina is doing good. HP looks like it's doing good. Carry I need weight. To repair my equipment. Uh, that's always good. Repairing equipment, keeping that up to date yeah. or whatnot. Let's see. I'm thinking either carry weight or health. But stamina is also important. Stay airborne longer if necessary. Uh, hmm. Looks like any mini mighty mo has chosen stamina. Any mini mighty mo. Leroy Jenkins. And here's my uh, age old friend from my Half Life days, as well as my number one subscriber, Angelic Seeker. This guy's a powerhouse and a half. And oh, yeah. then some. Yeah. 10,108 HP. Stamina 1547. Carry weight 811. Melee damage 301. I think I'm going to add to stamina on this one. Wow. 1666. Nice. Is Satan on my side or what? <laughs> Six six six. Yeah, well, yeah. The other lord's number. Nero. Yep. Depending on personal preference of which lord one desires to follow, because after all, Satan was an angel, mm -hmm. and it was God who said that he did blah blah blah, and was like, okay, you're cast out, you blah blah blah. You're not going to pay rent. Go live there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, sometimes I think that uh, uh, I've thought about um, about uh, how how Satan or like if if that all that were real, anyways, how, yeah, how he could have been cast down, cast down for a fucked up reason. Uh, yeah, because like. The story is that he thought he was more powerful than God, and like the, the fucked up reason would be that he wanted to take the place of of Jesus, so that that Jesus didn't have to do it. Don't take that on yourself. Let me do it for you, kind of thing. Yeah. You know? It's like I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't. I don't buy into all that stuff. But each their own. But I was, that's something I had thought about prior to uh, becoming atheist. And it is logical thoughts because uh, what what kid does not desire to try and outdo the parents? Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's essentially what the parents are teaching the child to do. And if Satan technically was one of his children, one of his angels. Like he was trying to do good, be... but in the, in, in the process did bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's like and it probably should have been cast out because if anything, he was saying, you know what, your 
the one doing absolutely everything. You know, why not have someone else help you with all that? You know, right. So was he so wrong for thinking that? If, if that were the case, I don't know. Yeah, if it yeah. was the case, I would think probably not. He was yeah. just trying to be a good son, a good angel, you know, someone to be helpful because yeah. he's taking the burden of absolutely everything in the universe on himself. You know, why should he be the only one that's like got to worry about every single little thing? Right. You know, have right. someone else to help out, and take care of things, you know, get things done mm. more efficiently. Because if you really think about it, logically, look at how many people are on Earth. If we're all praying to God at the exact same time and we all want different things, some of us aren't going to get jack shit. Yep. Just because he's going to be too busy working with someone else's need and you're going to be overlooked. It's just a, a matter of happenstance. He can't like wish absolutely everything into the universe exactly right now. And if he yep. did, well, the, the universe would be one hell of a clusterfuck. Right. It wouldn't make <laughs> sense anymore. Yeah, it, it would just literally, there'd be too much going on at the same time, you know. Mm. And it, it just wouldn't work, in my honest opinion. So having someone else to help with the burden seems extremely logical. Yeah. Anywho, um, let's change the subject before we get into yeah, trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, before we end up, like, stepping toes. On somebody, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. and this here is Rosella. <clears throat> burp, 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 burp. As requested by a viewer for me to name this oh, one. Oh, yes, Rosella. And we named, uh, what did we name after that viewer? Is that, where was, that one of the, uh, where is it? Yeah, uh, uh, Dodo, Dodo Rex Shiny King got... What yeah, Dodor X Shiny King. He's mm -hmm. the Dilophosaur at the end of the barn. Yep. A very powerful Dilophosaur at that. He's got oh, HP yeah. to boot and melee attack that's definitely worth having him on your side. He's a badass. Yeah. He's one of the best, I think, uh, Dilophosaurs that we've ever had the opportunity to have in our group. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of the strongest when it comes to the HP and the uh, melee. Superpower. Activate. Yeah, have you ever seen that um, little cartoon thing? Uh, whatever it was, it was uh, called. Uh, let me see if I can look it up real quick. Uh, but uh, it's a very funny thing, YouTube or whatnot uh, oriented. You, you, you're vague mm. enough that I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, very understandable. Um, but it's not uh, Source Filmmaker Shorts. Uh, it's something else. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I just go to YouTube and I put in the lines of one of the things that'll like bring it up maybe i'll be right back all right uh oh. three powers activate there we go yeah asdf yeah Wow, why is that so quiet? <laughs> yeah. I knew that would definitely help me remember it. It's one of my favorite little cartoons. Okay, uh, Mr. Freeze. All 
All right, I'm back, and that's a frost wyvern, isn't it? Yes, it is, Mr. Freeze, to Mr. be exact. Freeze. It was uh, the ASDF cartoon animated thing. Oh, I haven't heard yeah. of that one. Yeah, they've got like a neat series of uh, videos or whatnot. And there's this one episode that I was just remembering where uh, this person was like, oh, they're trying to kill me or something like that. And this one person's like, I'll save you. Tree powers activate me. <laughs> Turns into a tree and he's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That one's that's a good one. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of heat coming out of my PC at the moment. I believe it. No wonder I'm sweating. Excellent for winter time, but now that it's starting to get towards summer and temperatures will be a little bit warmer. You know, keeping your room cool there where yeah. you do your computing. That'll become more of a challenge, but with your new heat pump, should hopefully not be an issue. Yeah, not be so much of an issue with your heating and cooling. Because mm -hmm. before the heat pump, I had no cooling whatsoever, so it's a big, big step up. Definitely, it's going to raise my electric in the summer, but it's dropped the electric bill in the winter. So that's what are you? A fair change. This right here is um, one of the Quezzles. This one's uh, the extremely rare tech Quezzle. Wow. When did you get this? Uh, one day, Nate and I were just kind of like floating around over by the trench just past the uh, area over here, up over the hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, right before the uh, kind of like inlet that's kind of like this over here. Where we've got this lagoon, the one that's yeah. over there, is where we found this and the one that Nate has, because Nate has a fleshy version. Oh, okay. We found these two guys floating around over there, uh, whatnot, and it's kind of cool, actually. Way cool. Um, I like the name Sapphire. Yep. I went with that because the color scheme yeah. that it, it seems to be showing, or she seems to be showing, is kind of that sapphire-like color. And just like everyone says, very slow flying, but uh, very fun flying. But look right. how slow it is. Yeah, that is that <laughs> is that shift key slow uh, speed? Uh, no, this is shift key speed. Oh, wow, that's so, pretty slow. A little bit faster, but as slow as like a uh, Argentivis carrying a full load of product back to base mm. sort of thing going on, where you're like limping back home. <laughs> right. But if you need to get a lot of stuff someplace, you could put like a ton of boxes on the back of this probably and carry a lot of stuff someplace. Probably, yeah. As well as people. Because the platform back here could definitely hold 10 or 20 people easily. There's one other thing I wanted to say about religion and stuff before we called it quits on that. And that would be? That becoming an atheist and stopping believing in magic has been one of the best things I've ever done for my mental health. Which is definitely awesome. And the yeah, possibility of magic separate religion and the, the hocus pocus of religion which yep. does kind of have that magic like aspect to it there is a certain legitimacy to certain magic types but since we are just you know mortal fleshies mm. you know we probably don't fully understand all of that because a lot of it's actually just science yeah and it can seem like magic but when when you take physics and you take certain uh, aspects of other science and you, you melt them together in different ways of doing certain experimentation you definitely come up with things that definitely look like magic is happening and right. it's all just you know, either centrifugal force for example or uh, just the fact of uh, weights and measures versus gravity and how things interact with that right <laughs> you know? oh but 
I had issues with with uh, with uh, um, with stuff before, and now, uh. now that I don't believe in it, it's not an issue for my mental health anymore, which is great. Um, but yeah, bipolar disorder and some a little bit of a little bit of uh, probably yeah. a little bit of undiagnosed schizophrenia, but no. Just a touch. You had bipolar into the OCD aspect, and that's one hell of a fight in the head happening. Yeah, and it's just it's I've I've become so much more uh, stable. stable from the sounds yeah. of it. Yeah. But because I will be honest, like, I believe like in the I... possibility of God, but I personally don't practice as much as I used to anymore. For various reasons, but other than that, you know, there is the possibility, but I don't like rush to it as being the end all be all of everything. Right, right. Um, like I tell people when they try and convert me, I was like, listen, that's great. If it makes you happy, more power to you. But... you are preaching to the already converted by, you know, just you studying things and learning. You know, it just yeah. takes simple reading of the Bible to understand that it contradicts itself in like oh, multiple Oh, yeah, Jesus years. is a contradiction. Because if Jesus yeah. is the word of God, oh, my God. We're... Well, my God, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's not go there on stream. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I mean, it's free speech, but I don't, I don't, I don't need to cancel culture yeah the cancel culture of rushing after us yes i can definitely understand that <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to risk uh upsetting somebody and getting flagged or something yeah true slowly working on getting the melee damage for my this is a this is a giga, isn't it? Yes, this is a giga. I found this the other day, well, more than the other day, but uh, uh, over that same area where we got the where I got the uh, Quizzle, oh, yeah. this guy was floating around, and I thought at first it was just a T Rex, and I was like going after it with one of my things, and I was like, I noticed the name the the uh, title to it. Oh my god, that's oh, a gigas. Yeah. The first thing I did was just run the hell out of there, and then I was like, I'm gonna go capture that thing now. <laughs> nice. And it was only a level 14, but the power of even a level 14 gigas is such that it's like overwhelming. Yeah, they're they're and pretty cool. They're capable of killing like massively, but then you put them on your team and they're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they've they been nerfed. Characters. They've been nerfed. Severely. They've been mega nerfed to the point where this guy is uh, awesome, awesome as hell, but so Pretty nerfed a puppy dog. that a regular T Rex is capable of probably doing better damage than this guy. Which is why it's like very hardcore to just try and get up to uh, forty on the melee damage. But even with the uh, melee damage at thirty nine point four. He does like uh, almost 200 melee, oh, yeah. almost 200 melee damage. And I'm just trying to egg out just that teeny ounce bit more to try and uh, have that be slightly improved. I want to take it to 40 and then after that, it's all the stats are going to go into everything else. Uh, the health right now is actually pretty darn good, 17,000. So that's like probably the best aspect right there, and the stamina definitely mega improvement. So after I get take get the uh, other thing taken care of, of the melee, get the carry weight up there, I'm definitely going to be full on the stamina. Mm. And they like buffed it so badly that even the stamina doesn't go up very far because I've already put a good amount of points into stamina already oh, wow. too. Yeah. They don't want you to be able to take one of these things into an enemy base anymore like was happening in the past. So the devs are trying to help control the uh, 
social environment the PvP, but in yeah. a game like this it just doesn't fully happen exactly like they would want it to mm. cuz they'll find other ways to uh, terrorize smaller tribes yeah did you hear about the exploits in elder ring oh i have not uh, what exploits can you do over there well there was an exploit where you, uh, people could uh, uh, hack if they invaded you they could hack you and cause you to end up in an infinite death loop oh damn that would definitely suck yeah they'd crash your game and you'd end up when you reloaded it you'd be end up in this infinite death loop oh well, that definitely sucks for sure that 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 not that cool. it, uh, the, uh... the devs already patched that one out but now there's a new there's a new exploit already uh they found a new one already yeah i forget what it was but uh yeah I saw there was another one. I believe it, with it being as new as that game is, that just came out like last week, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. I got it I got it myself because I'm a sucker, but it's a fun game and I'm not playing it online, I'm playing it offline. So I don't blame you. At least get used to it before you like uh, place yourself in the public limelight with it. <laughs> right. Plus, I'm using I'm using some separate software to unlock the frame, uncap the frame rate. So I have to disable anti cheat also. Oh yeah, that is uh, under that game engine for that, which always had frame rate issues and things like that. Yeah, it's capped at sixty, so I've got it uncapped now and uh, blaze. Yep. Let's see, 10K, 12, 384. And Where's stamina this? would definitely be important here mm. as well. I'm going to go with melee, though, for now. And I guess everything after that, uh, I'll probably take the melee up to 200, and then after that, I'll just all be stamina, probably. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd forgotten I'd named mine Levi. Yep. So I ran inside. I was like, "What? What was it?" When you pulled that one out, what I was, what like, was the name of yours? Yeah. yeah. And then spark. Oh, that's the electric uh, lightning yep. wyvern. And this guy's kind of already OP. Oh, wow. Look at my HP. Three, 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 three. Nice. It's the perfect witch item because, you know, the, they say that 3.33 a.m. is the exact witching hour. And exactly during that particular minute is when the spells are at their peak in power. Oh, okay. At least according to uh, that particular sect, uh, yeah. my brother James is, is a Wiccan. Oh, is he? And he's into that particular sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And he considers himself to be a pretty darn good witch, I would believe he is. One, because he's my brother, and two, I don't want him to curse me. <laughs> <laughs> because it just might work. <laughs> Okay, and I put that on stamina for sure. Because I think everything else looks perfect in the stats. So definitely start egging the other up. Cobalt. And How are you doing, Cobalt? Cobalt has a level up. Oh, Cobalt it does? So I'll have to go over there and visit Cobalt. Luxor. Luxor is pretty cool looking with the with the pink highlights. Cobalt's two forty and it's going to be two forty one. Let's see, you were to put this. Two, two, three, four, one, one, twelve, three, four. We'll go with HP for the heck of it.
12, 9, 8, 4, 12, 12. 3, 20, 15, 8. We'll go with HP there too. Uh, Yeah, I definitely drink. I definitely drink this Michelob Ultra faster than water. Oh. And it's unique how over in Europe, some locations do not have age limits on uh, when uh, folks can start drinking, but they have definite restrictions on when you can start driving. Like Germany, for example. Right. I think you have to be 21 to drive, but you can be any age to drink. Huh. <laughs> well, uh, driving is, is a public hazard, so yeah, that makes sense. And it's a huge responsibility because yep. you have to do it safely and wisely. And we know that German drivers are definitely good because, you know, mm -hmm. they're the ones that invented the super speed highway. And there are fewer accidents on the Autobahn than there are on American highways. Yep. Per capita. So that's got to say something there. Mm -hmm. And they also have a different rule set. If an accident is noticed or detected or something like that, everyone like has to pull over to the sides of the road, not just stop in the middle of it like we do here. Right. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking too much at a dino to be able to equip that. That's the unique thing about the cryopods, is if you're, like, looking too hardcore at another dino, you can't, like, be trying to uh, access your... Uh... This is Demir. This is a uh... <clears throat> dino named after... The uh, owner operator of uh, Bencro TTV or Bencro TV here on mm. Twitch uh, told him I was going to name a team after him. And well, there you go. This is uh, Demir from Bencro TV. Let's see, Melee 175, Health 180. I don't see him. Yeah, he's dark and he's hidden in the grass. <laughs> oh, he's a little guy. Okay. Yep. Oh. I'd have to move him from here. And I was expecting another big dino. <laughs> yeah, you were expecting another big dino. Yeah. 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 If it was daylight, that would also help too. But yeah, uh, that would. Unfortunately, it's not daylight right now. So. Yeah. I heard. I heard the thing happen, and then I thought, well, I must have glitched. And then you're talking about the levels, and I'm like, what? What's going on? That sound effect is still creepy. I, want, I wish there wasn't a creature that go, went to that sound effect. Yeah, but that's the color scheme of this little guy, which is awesomely cute. I got completely lucky. Orange and brown? This awesome, uh, yeah, orange and brown. Very cute looking. Yeah, cute little guy. I think Demir of Binkro TV would be extremely proud of the creature that I named after him. Because hmm. I think he's a really cute little cool guy there. Yep. And I keep him protected in the cryo fridge because, yeah. Otherwise, he's kind of like one of those uh, lap dogs, lap cats that you keep protected and safe indoors at all times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Psycho, we looked at. Luxor, we looked at. Sapphire we looked at. Ash. Did we look at Ash? I, I don't remember seeing Ash. Okay. Monica we didn't look at. Uh, the Demorphodon that I said that uh, we had from over at the other area where we saw that other female Demorphodon flying around. We oh, that's one, one of them. Yep. Yep. And it's kind of interesting, their skull-like looking head type yeah. is very interesting. Not sure if this one's going to have a level up or not. Seems to be taking a while for it to kick in if it's going to. Sun's rising. 
Yeah, I don't think Monica has a level up at present. And that nope. can happen. Where sometimes they just don't get the XP points necessary for the game level up. Nice little piece of poo on the ground there. It's funny, now that I switched uh, inventory to tab, I'm always pushing yeah. I instead of C. <laughs> <laughs> See, Daisy, I think we looked at Daisy. Rosella, we looked at a while ago. Spark, we looked at. Angelic Psyker. Blaze, we just looked at. Mr. Freeze, Demir, Psycho, Luxor, Sapphire and Ash. So I think if there's any two, we'll look at Daisy real quick and then we'll look at Ash because I think Ash is the last one out of my grouping here. But I think Daisy, we look Daisy. Daisy. Something, something. Do, bicycle do, 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 build for two. Lazy Daisy. Mother do, 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 of our dinos. Our T Rexes. Pretty much. Uh, I think our dinos started with Daisy and uh, Lex. Yep. The original Lex, and then the new Lex kind of stepped in and helped finish that off. I don't think she's got a level up, so I probably did look at her earlier. So put her back and then take a look at Ash, which is my fire wyvern. Okay. Now this guy I definitely am proud of. Oh yeah, you pulled him out, I think. Ash. Yeah, so we probably... Oh yeah, look at the health. Yeah. Didn't need a lot of health. Probably because I... Didn't heal Ash after going food hunting one day. Because I took Ash out looking for meat. So, this is the unique thing. Freezing a fire creature in order to... <laughs> right. <laughs> How to freeze your wyvern in three easy steps. One, chain them down, especially if it's a fire wyvern. It'll try and run. <laughs> <laughs> Two, put a muzzle on it, because it'll bite the crap out of you. <laughs> Three. Or burn you to death. Yeah, or burn you to death. Three, bring Snow Owl and have it do the job. Let me check the uh, meat. Yeah, True. the meat is probably getting fucked up again. <laughs> uh, we still got most of four stacks in there. Ah, most of four stacks, good. You definitely went with extra, which is good. Mm. And that takes care of a quick perusal of uh, the personal dino collection. Yep, and the food for the snow owl is doing extremely well, so that's definitely good. Thank you for helping take care of the uh, meat requirements. No worries. So the owl could do its job. We're going to have a look at Stoner. See how Stoner's uh, doing. It's probably been a while since you've like looked at all of your dinos too, right. so you might want to check your dinos that you have in stasis. And He's got see three what levels. Up. Then, if you need healing, I can of course help with the healing. If you put anything on HP, not on this guy. He's got plenty of HP. I'd believe it. This guy's probably got the Taj Mahal of HP. Well, he's like he's got six grand. everywhere with like one zone of minor pink. That would be his face for blocks of it. 
wow, when he gets put in stasis, it's almost like put on a planet in stasis. That was the biggest stasis field I've seen. <laughs> all right, let's pull out all my dinos that are in stasis, except for Stoner, because he was just out. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's oh, eat. I key is not the right key anymore. Uh, let's start with Levi. Levi Jenkins. <laughs> Magmasar <laughs> extraordinaire. Yeah. Four level ups. He's got 10k health. Not bad. Yeah, not, not bad, bad at all. At all. 10k health means he can take some damage and deal some at the same time. It's Levi. Got 150% um, melee. And then there's uh, Minnow. I don't remember Minnow. Uh, your Cinema Crops, your Alt Cinema Crops. Oh, I have an Alt Cinema Crops, okay. Come on, have a bunch of levels, Minnow. You ought to, because you're... You got frozen at 142. Oh, yeah, you got a lot of levels. You got 59. Wow, that, that Minnow's going to be a powerhouse once you're done leveling that. Yep. 2k <laughs> stamina. Let's Excellent. get its weight up. I'd say you try to get that near 200 and you'll definitely be spot on perfect because their weight reduction on things is like superior so you don't yep. need to go beyond 200. Well, I got him at 259 and then 1,061 health. Oh, wow, 259 on the carry weight. Damn. Yep. Your little guy would be capable of carrying some stuff. Do you need some HP heal? Yeah, he needs some HP. Minnow needs some HP. Oh, you. And there right, it goes. Useful. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Very welcome. All right. Minnow's been frozen. Now we're looking at Brazer. I think I brought Brazer out earlier. No, so. Yeah, Brazier's my fire wyvern. and I had him out earlier. Mm -hmm. Sparky. Ah, your T Rex. Yep. He's probably got some level ups to do. Probably. It's been a while. Plus, he needs HP right now, as is. Yeah. So. We'll have to do a little bit of heal for him on that. Let me, let me scoot away while you heal you him. Levels? Unless you want me to heal him now, and then you do the levels. or. Maybe. Well, Way. Either way. All right, he's whole, he's full. Thank you. Sparky's got four levels. Six K health, uh, three hundred melee. Yeah, we'll just pump in the health. 6.6k health. Sparky's not a, a boss, but a boss, but yeah, he's a personal dino, so yeah. he doesn't need to meet the specs of the boss battle group. They're mm -hmm. they're warriors. They're they're meant to be like uh, uh, Navy SEALs, where they can take a punch and then deal out like fifty thousand punches after they take one really good right. one. And vice versa, be able to Take handle 50, punches. punches and deal one really great big one that knocks mm -hmm. whoever out. <laughs> All right, next up is uh, Leviticus. Leviticus. Hello, Leviticus. Been a while. We'd probably have you up there on that deck, but you know it's like a full house. <laughs> yeah. Ten, ten health, ten um, level ups. Wow, ten Party. level ups. 
And Leviticus also needs some HP too. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with his points yet. He's got three K, three point three, three point four K health, two thousand stamina, a thousand carry, three hundred four percent melee. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Put it on stamina. Uh, stamina. I put some of it into stamina. Yeah. Or maybe all of it. HP. Yeah. He's got carry plenty weight. of HP yeah. for, uh, for our purposes. Weight sounds good. He, Leviticus would make a good uh, breeder. Definitely. With the stats that Leviticus has? Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's got some stuff going on. 2.2k there. 9.1k there. 1k on the carry weight. 304 melee. Damn. Awesome freaking Maywee. Yeah. He turned out to be definitely the pride of the group for sure. For sure. And then not hitting the I key. <laughs> we have John. <laughs> John Jacob Jacob. Well, wasn't John supposed to be yours? Uh James was and James, I have James, James over okay. on uh, my solo game. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah. I knew it was a J. Yeah, because I chose James because he was the same name as my brother, and I told my brother that I named him after him. He was oh, like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, J John has John has comparable stance stats to uh, Leviticus. Nice. If we needed more Maywings, I'd breed the two of them. Yeah, John and Leviticus would probably make one hell of a righteous team, indeed. We actually have too many May Wings at the moment. So. Yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> and that's all because we got lucky with that, that blessing of triplets. Oh my, yeah. And then managing the to blessing. actually... Yeah. And then managing to be able to get all of the triplets. Wait, where okay, the, where, where are you going, going John? Oh, John decided he wanted to go after that, that terror. John gun. needs behavior adjustment. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Passive. Okay. He's probably set on attack your team in the instant he was at, any uh, one attack of our your dino. target. Yeah. Yeah. Instant any one of our dinos goes after anything, it, they'll automatically rush to it too. I can't seem to to cryo him. Oh, uh, probably just need to be in the right spot in order to get a spot where it's not moving. Uh, there we go. If they're moving, it kind of throws off the uh, cryo scan or whatever process it does whenever you're supposed to like be touching the part of the body that's not moving. I haven't taken Frosty like, out in a while. Moves or lurches. Oh, beautiful. Frosty, level 124. Probably has a lot of level ups if Frosty hasn't been out and about for a while. Yeah, he hasn't. Oh, he's got eight. Eight's a good number. Got him up to 1874 stamina. I think nice. that's the last one, really. Um... Razor, Sparky, Levi, Leviticus, John, Frosty, and Minnow. Yep, that's all of them for me. I don't have a lot of dinos. Yeah, I'd say that I'm probably the dino matrix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Nate are probably the two that have been doing the most dino additives because I think his group is smaller, but pretty good size too for the amount of dinos that he's got in his folder because let's see here yeah uh, Nate yeah he's got a good amount in his folder too one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah he's got nine Vaughn's folder is empty yep that's because I have to put mine back in if I look at the correct device Did you take out uh Deo Don. 
or is that Nate's to deal with? Uh, those are Nate's uh, items to work with for the Deo Dawn and the uh, Yeti. Okay. In the Yeti that's in there, because uh, Nate specifically asked for him to be the one that takes care of those two when it comes to the uh, battle teams. Sure, sure. Because he knows more about what those two need for their stats. So I've left those alone so that those get properly tuned mm -hmm. the way that he would like them to be tuned. And I pretty much have all of the battle T-Rexes set for two things, doing battle as well as minor uh, group details that uh, may or may not ever happen for them. <laughs> which is why I have like the thousand stamina or close because most of the times they would get born and they would already have like 1500 stamina yeah. and I'm like well I don't need to touch that stat <laughs> right and I would only have to do like one or two clicks in order to get them up to the 800 carry weight minimum because that's the recommended for T-Rex minimum as a uh, a working team so for both their battle capability as well as their working capability yeah their battle capability and working capability are working out very nice for our battle group so if you had to and you wanted to go out and you wanted to like collect a plethora of something you'd have plenty of carry weight but you'd have a lot of stomping behind you mm. <laughs> But you'd have one heck of a nice train of uh, material that you would be able to bring back to base. Nice. If you took all the dinos out, collected stuff, filled up their inventories, and walked them back home. Or teleported them. But mm -hmm. uh, in order to teleport them, you need to have them in proper proximity. So you'd have to have saddles on all of them in order to get that portion done. Because I noticed that video that you uh, recommended for looking at the boss battle, he like literally for all his dinos neatly had them like it was a, a nice pepperoni pizza or a nice pie, all perfectly aligned around the obelisk as he was doing the uh, transfer yeah. to the boss battle site, which was neat looking. They were all like perfectly positioned. Right. It was almost like his OCD kicked in. <laughs> before he recorded the video and he's like okay now that we've got all the dinos set on the platform now i'll turn the video on <laughs> we're recording mm -hmm. maybe that was to make sure that they were all in this in this in the teleport range. yeah that way they were all in the uh proximity of the uh teleporter yeah. which the uh that particular teleporter is the large size teleporter size which is quite massive if you think about that full platform size is quite sizable and the fact that it was able to carry him plus his uh, mount that he was on and 19 or 20 uh, t-rexes because i know he was on a mount of his own as well as all of his rexes right because i don't think he had the medical de uh, deodon with him, I no, think he, he only went that. there with uh, his Yeti buddy and his uh, T Rexes. So he went there with like 19 T Rexes and himself on a Yeti, I believe. And uh, he managed to come out of there with all of his dinos alive and killing the boss. Yep. Now Quite he was deep. taking on the base level boss, but um, I think. Yeah, I think he was on the first tier boss because he said this one's the mushy one. This is the one that's yeah. kind of like at the, the low health sort of thing in comparison. So when we go up the tier to the top one, because mm -hmm. there's like three tiers, of course, as already known. There's the Alpha Omega and whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Alpha Omega and you'll wish you weren't here. Right. <laughs> boss. Yeah. <laughs> and uh whatnot and i'm not sure exactly which one we're starting on i know i think Nate's we're starting on on the uh alpha i hope we're starting on the mushy one but if we're starting on the top one may as well go from top to bottom you know? yeah i think we're <laughs> starting on the mushy one but yeah uh 
definitely good to start on the mushy one because if the, it also gives XP to us as well as our dinos, then right. that will probably help boost them for the next tier boss without having to XP farm on a massive basis because right now we're at a grind point, in my opinion, mm -hmm. in the process where we've got to grind their XP up. Because I don't think our cryo fridge is going to give them the boost that we're we're hoping for now. I think they're so high level that in order to get them up to full par, I think we're going to have to do that idea like I was just mentioning earlier. Well, that would be an interesting uh, thing to try for sure. Uh, taking them all over to Herbivore Island, putting them on aggressive, and just letting them munch away and gain XP from doing so. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Plus, it would give us all of the hide that we would need and more meat than we could handle. Yep. <laughs> well, um, it's getting late. It's going to take a while to upload this video, so I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna call it for myself. Yeah, and I think I'll call it for myself too, and uh, go do some other stuff. All right. What not? It's definitely been an enjoyable time. Yeah. yeah. Definitely awesome uh, having someone else around to be able to actually talk with and chat during. Yeah, sorry I've been so not into it lately, but yeah. It's understandable. Uh, you've got the same issue uh, concerns and whatnot that I've had myself, too. So I can fully understand and relate. So. Right. Thank you. Um so I guess uh, this is good night, Twitch and YouTube. Guys, it's been a blast, um, but it's time for it to come to an end, like the screen says. So until next time, have a good night. Bye.